Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. In this video, I'm doing a review and a quick walkthrough of Calendly. Calendly is appointment scheduling software that allows individuals and teams to automate the process of scheduling meetings. So rather than going back and forth over email with clients to schedule a time, you just share your Calendly link and then your clients can select an available time slot to schedule a meeting with you. So I'll show you the actual dashboard for a real Calendly account. But first, let me show you a few features that they talk about on the website and also pricing. They do have a free option uh, for one calendar and one user. And then there's premium and pro at $8 per user per month and $12 per user per month. So I'm just going to breeze through this chart here, which is also going to give you an idea of the features that are available. So in all the accounts you do, you can connect calendars. And then they have calendar integrations with Google Calendar, Office 365, and iCloud. That's included in all the plans. You can schedule unlimited events. There are different event types uh, on the higher level plans. There's a personalized uh, link available in all the plans. So you can just kind of add um, your own personalized link. You can remove the branding on the higher level plans. And there's some higher level availability options like round robin, collective scheduling. So like with round robin, you could have a team of five that are uh, available for scheduling that kind of get circulated or rotated through the schedule. Uh, group events, automated event notifications available on all plans, customizable email notifications and reminders on the paid plans. Looks like text notifications are only available on the highest level pro plan. Add links to event confirmation pages on paid plans. Invitee redirect, like uh, redirecting them to a, maybe a page on your website is available on the highest plan. And there's higher metrics and reporting on the paid plans. And then you get a bunch more integrations on the paid plans. Free plan only allows you to integrate or add Calendly to your website, which I'll show you. Um, it has intercom integration, but all these other integrations are available on paid plans. Uh, like Zapier, which integrates with all types of different apps, Zoom, GoToMeeting, Salesforce, HubSpot, and then payment processors like Stripe, PayPal are available for inter integration only on the highest plan. And then there's some different levels of support on the higher plans as well. So that gives you a rough idea of the pricing and features, but let's look at the actual dashboard for this account. So we're on the Calendly dashboard. This is what it looks like. It's a pretty simple interface. You can click on scheduled events to see any events that have been scheduled. If you have an active account, this is obviously a new account. I'm just testing. So there's nothing in here, but under event types is where you actually create your different event types. Uh, so you would normally click on new event type and you can choose from one-on-one -on -one or a group and then you'd start creating it. But since I already created one, I'm gonna go ahead and click through the details of it. So first of all, you click on, um, or under what event is this, is the first section you just saw. Give an event name, and then under location, you have some different options like an in-person meeting, phone call, Google Meet or Hangouts, Zoom, go to meeting, custom, or ask invitee. I'm gonna go with Google Hangouts for this one. You can add a description. And then there's an event link here you can customize and customize the event color. It says this is going to be used um, on your dashboard and I think on your Calendly page as well. So then we we'll click save and close. The next section is when can people book this event? So you can create an event duration. They have some options here and then you could uh, choose custom number of minutes, the date range, it says events can be scheduled over 60 rolling days, which at first was a little confusing to me, but then I realized it's just how far in advance can events be scheduled. I believe that's what it is. That would probably be a better way to word it. And you choose the event time zone, and then you can set your availability in this calendar here. Looks like I can copy the availability from another event type, or I can click on a day to create its availability and then apply it to the day only or all Wednesdays, or I can apply it to multiple days of the month. So there's different ways to customize your availability here. There's also an advanced tab where I can do some more advanced scheduling, availability scheduling. Um, I could change the increments. I can change the max number of appointments per day. 
um, the amount of scheduling notice or minimum scheduling notice in hours and then event buffers so this would be the minutes before and after an event so you could put like 15 minute buffers between your um, appointments like if you needed to drive to appointments or something like that so let's leave this as is and just click next and like i mentioned the free plan is limited to one event type so i would have to upgrade to do more than one but here are some additional options for this event i'm setting up um, or event type there's questions I can ask the invitee, um, so you can add all kinds of questions to get information before the appointment. There's notifications and cancellation options, email reminders, email follow-up, text reminders, and again, some of this stuff is only available in a paid account. Confirmation page, I can customize, and then the higher level accounts, I could redirect people to a page on my site, for example. And then there's payment options available uh, in upgraded accounts where you can collect payments uh, for appointments so that people you know, pay 50 bucks for a one hour appointment, for example. And you could change these settings, um, the payment settings to get, fit your business. So if I were to try to turn this event type on, it's prompting me to upgrade because I only have one event type available. So let's go back to my main page and here's the one event type I already finished setting up. The other ones are grayed out because I would need to upgrade. So let's go ahead and look at this one I created earlier. And if I view the live page, you can see an example of what the Calendly link looks like. So this one I had set up for Monday, Thursday, Friday availability, 30 minute time slots. So people just select from the calendar, choose a time slot, click confirm, so then people just enter their name, email, and a short message here. They, they are allowed to add 10 additional guests, but we could customize that. And again, you could, in the features I just showed you, you can customize these questions. And then they would click schedule event, you would get notified and it would go into the calendar. If you were taking payments, there would be a payment step here as well before they can um, finish the uh, scheduling of the event. There are some different ways to embed or integrate Calendly with your website. You could just send a link in an email to take people to your page that looks like this, but you can also embed it on the website. So here's what an embed looks like. You could be on the website and then, or on your website and you could just embed this little Calendly widget here. If you were to upgrade, you could get rid of this Calendly branding here. And then you could do a pop-up text on your website. So if people click schedule and it just pops up this um, Calendly widget. And then there's also a pop-up widget, which just pops up this button in the bottom right, which can be customized. But if we click it, it brings up that same scheduling calendar. So there are a few other integrations in the dashboard. I'll just click on that and show you. Uh, you could add, it looks like a... Um, Chrome add-on in your probably your toolbar to, to create um, appointments quickly and then there's payment integrations like I mentioned you can also integrate to your calendar and that is actually done somewhere else let's see if I click on account I can go to calendar connections and this is an important step because I could link to a Google Calendar and then it will check for conflicts in that calendar or it'll add my events to the Google Calendar so when people make a um, appointment it then goes into my personal or business Google Calendar so you'll see there's a few configuration um, options here so from what I've seen it is a great uh, simple interface a great simple tool that you can get started with right away to start taking appointments but it also has a lot of those extra features and the paid plans that will allow you to expand it and kind of take your scheduling to the next level like payments or team integrations so check that out make sure to check out my video on you can book me uh, it's kind of a competitor definitely is a competitor to calendly so you can watch my video on that and compare it to uh, calendly and see which one might be a better fit for you